great to work on licensed product. We've done a lot of them. But with South Park, it's very different because it is Matt and Trey. So while it was awesome to make a Star Wars game, you know, we didn't get to talk to George Lucas. And on top of it, what was great once we started working with them was finding out how much into games that they were. I think they've really driven home that the, the, the essence of the combat is kids being kids. When we uh, showed Matt and Trey an early build, one of the comments was, you know, I want the kids to bleed more, I want the kids to cry more, I want these kids to, you know, really just treat each other like crap, because that's what kids do. We always were like, oh, let's make this sweet, super epic armor with all this shiny stuff, and, and they're like, well, will the kids be able to find that in the town of South Park? And we're like, no. And they're like, okay, redo it. <laughs> I think it's hard to do a really good comedy movie and uh, we're not trying to write an hour and a half's worth of jokes. We're making a game that's going to be a role-playing game. You know, it's going to be hours and hours and hours long, and it needs to be funny all the way through. The South Park Digital Studios has worked with us so far really well on it, but, uh, but yeah, it's a big challenge. It's not a reimagining of, of stuff that already sort of exists, but in a different form. It's like, no, this is yet a, a, another extension to everything that is South Park because it's coming directly from Matt and Trey. The goal of the game isn't to make, isn't to just like piss on other games and say ha ha they're stupid. It's to have a fun adventure. I mean, Matt and Trey love gaming. Um, they're some of the most hardcore gamers I've ever met. Um, and, you know, it's not just about making fun of games, it's about having a great game that happens to be really fun.